Regimental's YouTube channel. I've come to one of the best collectors in England and um, I'm going to do a little display for you of his uh, showroom. Some fantastic German World War II uh, equipment and uniforms and headdress here. Um, Specialising in uh, Forsham Jaeger paratrooper items, um, SS and Panzer. And, you know, as I featured in my previous videos before, I'm just going to let the video do the talking and show you some of this stuff. Um, this collection has taken, you know, over 30, 40 years to build up. Um, and lots of time and effort and knowledge gone into it and you will never ever see a collection like this in the UK as in-depth and as, and as advanced as this. So it's a really good opportunity um, to share with you what can you can achieve with a lot of time and effort over a, over a period of a number of years. So sit back and enjoy the video. So a few pieces that I wanted to point out um, to you guys is, um, if you have a look at this mannequin here, it's absolutely stunning. This is one of my favorites with the early gas mask bag here and the, the very rare uh, medic bag. Now medic bags, they weren't really known or collected until recently. And then someone saw a, a picture of some Fauschenjäger and thought, what's that, that pouch they're holding? And they, they found out that that was the medic bag and it became one of the rarest pieces to find um, of Fauschenjäger equipment. This here is the very, very early um, double press stud bandolier. Now it's to hold ammunition for the K98 rifle and they made various ones. The first type is, is here as you see and then it came out later, a more simplified version. But these are extremely rare. There's only a handful of them known uh, in existence in the world. A really nice piece of kit. And of course the, uh, the early paratrooper smock here with the green fleck, um, a really nice example. And then in this cabinet here, uh, there's a few pieces which uh, are absolutely stunning. The, the side lace-up paratrooper boots. You know, a lovely, lovely, warm condition pair of boots. Extremely hard to find. These things change hands for £20,000. Um, and a whole shelf here of Panzer, Panzer items, really nice headdress. A very, very nice Fauschenjäger helmet here with a lovely uh, camouflage finish. This finish here is known as the um, Fauschenjäger Regiment 6 finish. It was a particular style where they mixed sawdust with the paint to create this kind of rough textured finish, like a sawdust finish. And they were all done in the same, in the same style of, of green and tan. Really, really nice helmet there. And right next to it here, there's an extremely rare Luftwaffe buckle with the blue uh, tabbing for the blue, the, blue, the blue webbing there. All of the blue webbing that the Luftwaffe released is extremely hard to find. Um, and they made virtually every piece of equipment, including the Y-straps, out of that material. Um, and 
while, I, while I'm mentioning those wire straps, he actually has an example of them here on this mannequin. These are the very, very rare blue webbing wire straps. Um, there's also a blue uh, webbing A-frame on the back. Um, the splinter pattern helmet cover, the later war bread bag, the splinter pattern smock, the grenade bags, really rare stuff. This is the six pocket um, MP40 pouch. It was a carried piece of equipment, extra ammunition for when they would needed to scramble very quickly and, and grab a whole load of ammunition in one go. Of course, the original here, um, paratrooper trousers, another extremely rare, rare piece of kit. And on the mannequin, uh, below you can see the uh, the later pattern paratrooper boots and here's another example here they move from the side lace up boots to the front lace up boots and they were produced in like a brown leather and then right at the end of the war they were produced in a black leather as well i actually like the black ones the most but most popular with collectors are the brown type so moving around the room uh, i wanted to show you this mannequin here it has the very, very nice uh, plain tree helmet cover, uh, SS helmet cover on it. The blurred edge over smock um, with the original drawstring. What's great about this mannequin is that he's utilised um, an oak leaf HBT panzer wrap underneath the blurred edge smock. It's, you know, it's almost overkill of rarity. It's, it's absolutely amazing. These are two of my favourite pieces here, the uh, MP44 pouches, uh, ammunition pouches. And then to match the uh, the, the oak leaf uh, wrap there, um, it's got the trousers as well, herring bone trousers. Absolutely stunning and, and really, really rare. All of these pieces are really rare things. The flare pouch. Um, I noticed this as well. I've never ever seen these before. These are unbelievable. The Luftwaffe summer weight pilot's trousers made in the same material used on the Fauschenjäger paratrooper smock, the early, early green flip material. I've never ever seen a pair of these before. I mean, you know, for a, for a Luftwaffe collector who collects the, the pilot equipment, that is, you know, a, a great, what they call a grail piece. Really, really rare. Moving around the room, this stunning helmet here. Look at this, a piece of a German helmet here with the decal on it cut out. That is a fantastic display piece. And I love all those small pieces. You know, it's not just the smocks and the helmets that I love, it's the small little pieces as well. Stunning things. So in this cabinet here is an array of SS headdresses. Absolutely stunning stuff. There's like six or seven SS M43 caps here, all with different combinations of the insignia, really rare. And then these are my favorite pieces too. This is the camouflage, uh, you know, the camo cap, classically worn. Um, in combat, really lightweight, lovely wear on here, lovely, like, nice stiff material as well. Definitely a combat used piece. Camouflage uh, gas mask tin, lovely officer's um, SS uh, peak visor cap there, and some very, very early SS Panzer insignia. Really fantastic pieces. And a whole array here of, of different uh, camouflage patterns for the Zelt barn as well. Um, some of these you just, you just never ever see. And moving on around the room, there's the Panzer mannequins here. So you have another of the, uh, the camouflage caps here, the SS camouflage Panzer wrap, the trousers, all the equipment, the belt, buckle, lovely, lovely, really nicely displayed as well. Um, and I love the faceless mannequins as well, because it kind of eliminates your attention of what, you know, you're not drawn to looking at a, a face on a mannequin, it's just the items you're looking at. So it's a really clever way of doing it. And of course, this is one of my favorite pieces as well. The, uh, the black SS Panzer wrap, really nice. And you know, I don't know much about these pieces, but things like this, I think this is an NCO's diary, and, and you just never ever see these small pieces, and it takes years to find all these small pieces, which just finish off the mannequin and make it into you know this stunning thing. Look at the condition of those trousers on there as well. Really, really nice piece. So still looking at this um, SS Panzer mannequin, I, no I noticed on here an original uh, double stud uh, hand heart watch. Now I wear a, I wear a hand heart as well. Uh, mine is is the range from these modern uh, ones that were reproduced by hand heart for people to wear. But this is an original one, and I know they change hands for like, extremely large amounts of money. So that is just a nice little touch, nicely tucked half out of the sleeve there, so it just catches your eye. 
What's interesting about this collection, it's not just all SS and all paratrooper, it's lots of army stuff as well, but also First World War. Um, U-boat as well, um, nice globe here from a U-boat, the clock, a pair of U-boat binoculars here behind me. And then moving through this cabinet here, more equipment. So here's the, the rifle grenade bag in, in, in brown leather and in blue webbing, extremely hard piece to find. The G43 pouches in black leather and in brown leather. Again, you know, I'll travel through my, my museums and, and go and see collectors. I'll see, I'll see a, an original one of those once every five, six years, that's all, if that. The very, very early um, pre-war MP40 pouch there, the tropical MP40 pouch, an array of uh, Luftwaffe M43 caps, army ones, and then here's a nice little medical section here with this absolutely stunning uh, medic's helmet. Now, their medic helmets are probably the most blatant fakes you ever see, but this is an original example, and you just you look at it for one, one or two seconds and you can see straight away that that is an original piece. Absolutely amazing. Nice little map, map, map case pieces here, small little pieces of uh, soldiers' equipment. All those nice little things that you can pick up at shows. Just, you know, you, you can't go to every show. It's impossible to go to every show and come back with a helmet or, or, or a, a new smock. Um, sometimes you go there and you don't find those kind of things. So to come away with a small, uh, you know, pencil set for a map case, um, it can give the collector as much buzz as finding a 5,000 pound item. Here behind me, the, uh, the full one-piece camo suit along with um, another SS helmet cover and the very, very rare sniper veil with the rare sniper's rifle there as well. An absolutely brilliant setup. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing what, as I said at the beginning of the video, what can be achieved with time, effort and knowledge over a period of years. Um, it's quite nice for you younger collectors who watch my videos to, to see um, what, what can happen? This guy started collecting when he was at school. Um, he was, you know, not, not even a teenager when he started collecting. Uh, and now, you know, all these years later, uh, amassed this really knowledgeable collection. When you, when you look at this collection, you don't just see it's just stuff that someone's thrown money at. This has been built through hard work and, and intense knowledge um, and, and networking, getting to know people. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, good news is, is that this stuff, you know, will come into Regimental's hands one day. Um, we'll, we will probably, hopefully, get to sell a lot of this stuff to you one day. Um, so, you know, keep in touch with us about stuff you see here. If there's something that you can't resist and you have to have, be, get in touch with us. Um, don't forget, um, watch uh, our Instagram and Facebook. You can follow us on there. Um, we'll be updating the, the uh, website on usually on Fridays around two o'clock. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Um, I hadn't mentioned uh, yet, but I will do now, is that the next show that we planned on doing was Military Odyssey, but that has been cancelled. So there's no shows coming up in the foreseeable future. It's a good opportunity for you to get onto our website and buy a few pieces, um, you know, keep your collection going, and eventually you might end up with a collection like this one day. So thanks for watching.